professional sexuality educator. Who should teach our kids about sexuality? Parents or teachers? If you're a parent, you bear the ultimate responsibility for your kids' health, their happiness, and their well-being. You probably know your child pretty well, especially when it comes to things like their maturity level and their ability to understand certain aspects of sexuality. As a parent, you're going to have specific values around sexuality that you probably want to share with your child. If you're a teacher, you are a trained educator. Disseminating information and knowledge, that is what you know how to do. It is your jam, and those skills are definitely beneficial when it comes to talking to kids about subjects such as sexuality. Teacher, you may have more access to accurate information about sexuality, particularly when it comes to things like sexual anatomy or sexual biology or things like contraception or sexually transmitted infection rates. You may also have more access to sex education resource such as textbooks, diagrams, websites, etc. As a teacher, you may care about your students a great deal, but you may not have the same emotional attachment and investment as a parent has, which can actually be an advantage in some cases because having a little bit of distance can give you a perspective on a child that their parents may not have. Also, you have the advantage of seeing children in a social setting and watching the way they interact with their peers, which may give you different clues as to where they are in terms of their sexual development than their parents have. Finally, as a teacher, you have an opportunity to show students that there are realities beyond their own, which is very relevant when it comes to sex education. You know, people have different bodies, they have different identities, they have different relationships, they have different experiences, and all of this diversity is very relevant to understanding human sexuality. As a teacher, Diversity can also present challenges when it comes to teaching something like sexuality. You probably have a lot of different students in your class with different personalities. They may be quite diverse in terms of their emotional maturity or their intellectual development, um, their race, their ethnicity, their social identity, their sexual identity, their gender identity. And so when you are teaching sexuality, you kind of have to make that one lesson suit a lot of different people. As a teacher, you may not always have the time or the ability to address students' questions and concerns around sexuality, you know, as deeply or intensely as you may like, especially if you're in a like sort of really densely populated classroom with a lot of students. Classroom sex ed can sometimes get a little clinical. You know, you are there to cover a lot of facts. These are the body parts. This is what puberty is. This is how reproduction works. This is how sexually transmitted infections work. So it can sometimes get a little dry. Finally, as a teacher, you may not be able to offer your students the same consistency that they may get at home with their parents teaching them about sexuality. The truth of the matter is that you really are only going to be with them for a year or maybe two, and then they are on to the next class and the next teacher. And even in a place like Ontario, where we have a province-wide sex ed curriculum, Every teacher has their own style, every teacher has their own dynamic with their students, and those things will change as students move through the different grades. Now, as parents, we also have our fair share of challenges when it comes to educating our kids about sexuality. It may not be as easy for us to access the same type of information that they get in a classroom. As parents, we may not always have the time to provide our children with comprehensive sex education at home. Now, that's not a criticism of anyone's parenting. That's just acknowledging that there is a lot going on for us as adults. You know, we often have jobs, maybe more than one. We may have more than one child. We may be solo parenting. There's just a lot going on. Now, for me, because I'm a sex educator, I can probably handle that part of my child's education, but there are also a lot of other subjects where I know that I simply don't have the time or the expertise to give him, you know, all the information he needs. That is why I, you know, am not my child's primary chemistry teacher. Not every child lives in a home where they have a loving and concerned parent. Some children are in homes with parents who are neglectful, 
Some children are in homes with parents who are abusive. And it's also important to remember that there are children who don't have families. The reality is that for some children, there isn't someone at home who's going to give them this information that is vital to their healthy and happy sexual development. So that brings me back to my original question. Who should teach kids about sexuality? Parents or teachers? In my opinion, it's not an either or question. There are definitely aspects of sex ed where parents and families have a significant advantage. However, there are also real benefits to providing public sex education in a school setting. I think of sex education as being similar to literacy. Often parents will start to encourage, you know, reading when children are very young. We may even read to them as babies and as toddlers. We'll take them to the library or we might buy them books. You know, we teach them the alphabet. We, you know, we may buy them crayons and pencils, you know, and let them scribble and then start to encourage them as they, you know, learn to write letters and stuff. But we also have an expectation that our kids will learn how to read and to write and that they will develop those skills in school. And once they start to do that in school, we certainly don't feel like, you know, their teachers are taking anything away from us in the home. And we will often continue to, you know, encourage reading and writing at home as well as in the classroom. I think that sex education can work you know, in a similar way where we can start those lessons at home, but we also encourage learning about sex and sexuality in the classroom. So it's worth noting that comprehensive sex education in classrooms and open ongoing conversation about sexuality in the home are both correlated to lower rates of STIs, lower rates of unintended pregnancy, youth practicing safer sex more consistently, youth delaying the onset of first sexual contact with a partner, lower, lower rates of sexual and relationship violence, and better mental health amongst gay and trans youth. If you want some ideas about how you can work with your kid's teacher to support their sex education in school and at home, I actually have a video about that and uh, I will link it here. In the comments below, let me know what you think about this issue. Do you think that sex ed should happen at home? Do you think it should happen in the classroom? Do you think it should happen both places? Or do you think it should happen somewhere else entirely? Let me know. That's all for now. I hope you have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.